Good morning guys and welcome back to Oregon Fishing Adventures. Today we are out here on one of my favorite trout streams taking a little break from salmon fishing. It's just been a super hardcore grind. I've got three jack salmon this year and that's really all I've got. So I came out here today. We're going to hit one of my favorite trout streams. We're going to see what we can find and uh, hopefully it's going to be an awesome day out here. It's pretty cold. A lot of the stuff around me is still frozen out here. Um, it's still below 32 degrees, so uh, I might have to wait for it to warm up a little bit, but either way, we're getting out here. I got both fly rods with my streamer setup and with the dry dropper setup. My dry dropper setup, I am going to be running an egg pattern on today because this is the time of year where fish are spawning and there's a lot of eggs in the system that trout are going to be feeding on. So I'm just going to try to go with what they're natural forage would be this time of year and uh, hopefully it pays off so let's get going and let's see if we can catch some fish all right so we're gonna get things started off with the streamer this is the small little streamer that I'm gonna start with I don't know if you guys can see that very well but it looks juicy so we're gonna get out here just into the water a little ways. Okay. And this little streamer has a tungsten bead and there was a fish right there. Okay, let's try that again. That was awesome first cast. Hooked up but didn't get the fish. But that's awesome. Let's see if we can get a hookup that stays stuck on. Looks super good in the water. Let's just dead drift it through. Let's see what happens. Gonna get the dry dropper rig going with this egg pattern. Just trying to get water into the yarn on the egg pattern so that way it actually sinks properly. Okay. Just gonna make a short cast first. Egg pattern's not quite getting down like I'd want it to. I might have to put it, I might have to put a nymph and then the egg pattern off of the nymph. We will see though. <sighs> Damn, that scared me. One of the ice crystals over there broke off the ledge. That's funny. There we go, the egg got down there that time. I 
thing down there. More breaking off over there. All right, guys. Well, something cool just happened on my way to this spot. So I was driving uh, here, and right where you get to see like the first big bend in the river, um, there was a deer crossing the river, and so I tried to stop, and I was going to try to take a video of it. By the time that I had stopped and got out, the deer was already across the river and had jumped up into the bush. And so I decided to keep driving and that deer had actually gone and crossed the river, ran up through the woods. I don't know if I scared it or what, but ran up through the woods and then as I'm coming around to this road, the deer jumped up from the side bank, jumping up onto the road, ran down the road in front of me a little ways, uh, and then continued to jump up the bank. So that was a pretty cool little experience. So, yeah. And yesterday when I was out fishing, I saw a bald eagle. So, pretty cool stuff. It's just a couple of the cool things that you get to see when you're out fishing. All right, let's try our luck here. This spot usually has some fish in it. Oh, there's one. Just like I said, the spot usually has some fish in it. Oh, nice. Nice cutty. He's already off. Eggs already came out. So. Sorry, you guys are looking at a log right now. Give me just a second here. Oh, it's a rainbow. Okay, okay. Let this little rainbow go. Boom, there he goes. Sweet. That was on the egg. That was for sure a rainbow. It didn't have any cut jaws. So. Boom. First fish of the day, and it was actually a rainbow not a cutthroat so that's interesting wasn't even a very good cast into this hole so let's see if i can get another one Drifting down. All right, let's see if I can get a cast in here. Down low. There we 
we go. That's what I was looking for. Got a nice drift through there. That rainbow is pretty nice. Though. I can't complain about that. Oh, there's one. Oh, there it goes. <coughs> right on and off, basically. What the fuck? That one went for the dry fly and I missed. Dry fly was totally underwater. There we go. There's a little guy on the on the egg pattern. Okay, hold on, buddy. Ooh, this water is cold. All right, there we go. Another rainbow. It's two rainbows on the day so far. No cutties. It's kind of interesting because uh. I'm usually catching mostly cutties on this stream, but today it is a day for rainbows. Alrighty, we're gonna start heading downstream. I caught two rainbows down here and uh, nothing up here, so gonna start heading downstream there's a few really good holes that I like to fish so I'm gonna work our way that direction and uh, hopefully find some more fish I changed up my bead well egg I should say changed up my egg over to a red one um, now we're gonna see if that can catch us anything today. Alrighty. Gonna make some casts through here with the streamer. See if I can't find a fish. Probably gonna call this the last hole. There's this spot and one right around the corner on the other side of me. Probably fish both of these and then call it a day. My lungs are not doing great today. I should have brought my lung steroid. 
but I just brought my inhaler. All right, well, we are heading out. I fished both of these other spots and couldn't find anything. And I don't have real wading boots. I just have some freaking shoes that have steel toes that I use. And man, I just freaking twisted my knee so bad it hurts. Oh, I slipped. Oh, shit, I almost just slipped again. I really need to get some wading boots. Whew. Yep, especially this time of year. Everything's so slick. But, thanks for coming with me. Just going to be a short video today. We got those two fish on the board. And uh, we're going to call it at that. I'll make another trip out here uh, before too long. But I think today it's just a little too cold. Today is supposed to be one of the coldest days uh, that we're having. So I'll try to come back on a day where the we weather is a little bit warmer. And see if we can have some more success then. Now I'll check in with you guys when we get back to the car. And then we'll close out the video. All right, guys, we're back at the car. We're going to finish it out here. Lungs are definitely in need of my steroid. And my knee and ankle are killing me. So we're going to call it a day. Head home. We got those two rainbow trout, so that's awesome. <coughs> and uh, until next time, you know, we'll come out here again for sure. This is one of my favorite trout streams, so. We'll definitely be out here again, guys, and uh, steelhead season's opening in two weeks. Let's go. I hope to see some of you guys out there for a winter steelhead season. And uh, good luck and tight lines.